Welcome Pisces. This is the Aquarian um, season and the Aquarian season begins from uh, the 20th of uh, January until the 18th of February. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is your prosperity money, uh, abundance prosperity reading, um, AMP reading. Um, this exhilarates you to tell you what is going to be coming up in your materialistic stability, how this is going to be affecting you. Um, you need to choose a symbol, Pisces, so recognize it and choose a symbol. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what is happening for you, Pisces. You, Pisces, are dealing with um, the energy of two women. And um, it could be six women, okay? Um, and it is an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. I see um, some sort of a communication. I see a fire sign person is trying to go after a Capricorn person. And I see this Capricorn person is, uh, um, you know, sitting and facing this person and have no regrets. Whatever this person, this fire sign person has done to a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person, they're facing this person, okay? Because I see this fire sign person try to use some sort of a dishonest way in order to communicate uh, with a Capricorn person, and I see they recognize this. The Four of Cups is in reverse. I see a lot of you Pisces are not regretting what has happened and what is transpiring. So what are you Pisces dealing with? The number four, no regrets, no regrets. So this is powerful, really, really powerful Pisces. Um, it is really a powerful alignment of energy. It's as if, uh, you know, you are not, uh, um, you know, turning your back to a situation. So Pisces, you are dealing with water and fire. Another water with fire. A lot of people are dealing with water and fire. Now, water and fire is um, self-knowledge, um, self-fulfillment and transformation. And this is in uh, the upright position. And I see you Pisces are using the energy of water and fire because um, you're dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius person. Now, whoever this person is, uh, you're standing your ground against this person. Whatever is transpiring, you're definitely not turning your back to this person. You're you're really standing your ground with this person. So a lot of you Pisces in the first week is dealing with a Aries Leo or Sagittarius a woman, um, 45 years and older. Whoever this woman is, you're standing your ground with this woman because you recognize that this woman is a... You know, I've brought you in some sort of a situation, um, in some sort of a network or connection towards a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn woman. And I see this woman is trying to take down this um, Capricorn woman, but she faced this woman and it says, if she's saying, hey, listen, my eyes are not closed. I'm aware of what you're doing. So um, be aware that whenever I throw my blow back, you're entitled to receive this blow. So whoever this Aquarian Gemini, um, this um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius woman is, try to use uh, um, some sort of a communication or use you Pisces uh, in order to accept some sort of a information from a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And this woman, this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn woman is the wrong person for anyone to mess with because this woman... Is really standing her ground and recognizing what is going on. Now the page is uh, some sort of a bad news uh, or some sort of a, a fire sign woman try to connect and create some sort of a bad news or try to use uh, her powers in the wrong way to access a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn woman. Now this woman is sitting down there looking at this fire sign person and thinking, lady, you need some help. Okay, so you Pisces are watching this uh, um, playback of these two people and you're recognizing that uh, the Capricorn woman is not uh, looking away she is looking towards and is letting this fire sign woman know hey I, I, I'm, I'm recognizing what you're doing so communication some sort of a unexpected communication is going to be coming up in the week of the 27th going in the the 2nd of February whatever it's transpiring some sort of a um unexpected communication or some sort of an investigation could be at the workplace where 
two women are going at it and you Pisces are sitting down there looking at these two women um, going at the situation whatever is transpiring and I see a fire sign person tried to play some sort of an investigation on a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn woman and this woman is recognizing what she's doing now I think this fire sign woman should find her place I, I think that this woman is a little bit off in some place and is you know communicating to you Pisces about this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person but she needs to find her place because the information that she is saying is not correct so as we look at the third week third week we have the third of February till the ninth of February I see you're dealing with uh, um water and hurt water and hurt now the energy of this water and hurt is on um an expert and uh, uh, really, um, you know, you're, you're expert in your field, whatever is happening and transpiring, you're very expert in your field. You're going to be meeting a very pleasant, generous, simple and loyal person, a very pleasant and loyal person you're going to be meeting in this third week. And it can be, um, it is coming up as a, um, the Capricorn symbol of stability, okay? But it can be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. But this person, and this is why I said Capricorn in the beginning, because uh, a lot of you um, uh, Pisces are going to be, uh, um, you know, reconnecting and creating some sort of a prosperity with a Capricorn woman. And this Capricorn woman is as if uh, she's going to be generating for you a lot of prosperity and um, um, um you know, fertility, stability, that is going to be coming up and transpiring. And it's going to be recognizing this and what is transpiring. So I see a Taurus Virgo, a Capricorn person, you know, be um, where that in the week of the 3rd going into the 9th of February is going to be uh, opening up some sort of a doors for you guys. And it's going to be creating some sort of a wonderful stability for you guys. This person is really on your team. The Spiocide woman is not on your team. Be aware of this. Whether the Spiocide woman is a sick, um, disturbed woman, and she's not on your team. Now, we're recognizing the Four of Cups in the fourth week. The Four of Cups is the moon in Cancer. It's in the reverse, and this is good. So, um, uh, you know, new experience is coming up for you, Pisces, in the fourth week. Some sort of an emotional situation you are dealing with, with uh, at work or in business is going to be, um, you know, resolve. Okay. The excess of leading to um, dissatisfaction and boredom is going to be over. New possibilities are going to be seen. Okay. And this is going to be good because what is going to be transpiring is that as you come in your season of Pisces, things are going to be changing. And this is good. That is the last week. So you're leaving the Aquarians and the Aquarians Pisces people is going to be having some sort of a new experience. So new opportunities, new work, new business is going to be coming in. So that is going to be good for you Pisces, especially Pisces that is born on the cups of Aquarian. Um, and, and this is going to be beautiful because this Aquarian uh, season was Two people going at it and you're basically sitting down there watching these two people, um, how they're going at it. Okay. Emotional indifference and the, um, excess leads to dissatisfactor with a fire sign person that some of you were dealing with and the spy sign woman and the spy sign woman seems to be grappling and speaking about another person behind and this woman is recognizing who this person is. So I see you are dealing with um, Aries Leo, Sagittarius woman and a Taurus Virgo Capricorn woman. And this Capricorn woman is like standing their grounds and recognizing what is going on and the play of what is going on. Okay, so I see the moon in Cancer is that uh, a lot of you have no regrets. You Pisces have no regrets as what has transpired. You Pisces really... Um, you know, I don't know if you have been entangled. Um, it's as if the spices, this Aries Lee or Sagittarius person got you involved 
to be connected with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion person. And I see whatever is happening and is going on, um, you recognize that, uh, you know, you should not have, uh, in, uh, you know, collaborated and get between these two people or create a situation that these two people are at it. So in the last um, week, it is going to be good for like the Pisces Aquarian because you have no regrets. You have no regrets what had transpired. You have absolutely no regrets. You're recognizing, um, you know, whatever happened, uh, it needed to be happened. You're understanding how, you know, things kind of create its own self out and you're recognizing what was happening and transpiring and you're basically letting it go and this is going to be good. So whatever that has been happening and transpiring, you're recognizing that, hey, life is full of surprises and this is how things are going to be, you know, coming out and this is how you're recognizing that you're going to be associating with these two people but you have no regrets. You're letting it go and you're walking away. And this is good. It is the best thing to do. I got to go. If you'd like to see what's under the symbol, use the join button. I'll speak to you next time. Remember to show your love by thumbs up.